Jeremy Brown here with defensive coordinator Lance Gidry. Lance, you inherited a defense that last year had some success under Clint Bowen. What is different about this year's defense and last year's defense schematically? I think we uh, pressure the quarterback in multiple ways. And of course, against Kentucky, we uh, kind of had our way a little bit, which was good and allowed us to play a lot better coverage on the back end. So hopefully we can continue that uh, through the course of the year and uh, just, just keep getting better. Two games through the season, you guys have played pretty well, uh, handled UK for the most part, and then struggled against Navy last week. Uh, tough with that triple option offense. So how do you gauge where your defense is at right now, considering the two very different types of offenses you, you played? Uh, well, you know, you look at it and you look at the schemes that you're doing, and of course we're not going to face another triple option team. Uh, but you can always uh, look at things and look at the type of effort you gave and tackling and all those things. So there's areas of improvement, even though we're not going to face the option again. And of course, the the uh, the effort and the the uh, it wasn't good enough, you know. And we didn't. It was a different problems for a scheme and just carrying out the scheme. So they had our way with us pretty good. Let's break it down by uh, position-wise. The defensive line, you got an experienced group. They've had a lot of success here early in this season, led by uh, Jared Clendenin up front. Talk about that group of defensive linemen that's put a lot of pressure on the QB so far. Uh, the defensive line has done a great job uh, from the outside with the ends. Jared Clendenin and, uh, and Q done a really good job along with Bo. Uh, really pressuring and, and running some stunt games inside really well. And also the tackles have done real well. Uh, Kenny's done real well. Uh, Jamarcus got back in action last week, of course. And then we played some young guys. We played uh, the big guy, Payne, and then, of course, Ramel's done a really good job. So the front has really been very active. And rounding out the front seven, the linebacking core, that race was wide open heading into fall camp. Uh, and really who emerged there was Andrew Jackson, a guy who wasn't on the too deep headed in a fall camp, but he's really taken control of that Mike linebacker spot and been tremendous for you guys at middle linebacker. Yeah, he wasn't on the too deep uh, depth chart, but we knew he was on the too deep depth chart. Uh, we knew what we had, and of course when he came out to practice, he showed uh, what type of player he was, and he continues to play hard, and uh, just keep trying getting better each week with him, and uh, he's giving great effort. Talk about your other linebackers a little bit. Ben Duvall had a big weekend against Navy last week. Talk about Ben. Ben played a little outside backer last week, defensive end type hybrid. Uh, he made a bunch of plays coming off the edge. Ben did good against Kentucky. Very solid performer. Uh, didn't wasn't as productive against Kentucky, but last week against Navy was very productive. Matter of fact, he was player of the week uh, for our team on defense. And uh, Ben's just steadily getting better, getting better. Uh, Xavier's Boyd had a good week last week, so. Those guys are continuing to get better, and we've got other guys that are getting some reps, Denario Davis, Ty Golden, so we're trying to create as much depth as we can. Front seven's been real solid for you guys. You have a very young group of cornerbacks, but also very experienced, saw a lot of playing time as freshmen last year. Talk about your young secondary. Um, we've got several guys that's their first times playing. Uh, you know, we've got, uh, we've got Cam playing at the corner. Cam's done a really good job. And you've got some guys that are still young. They played last year, but they're only sophomores with Arius Wright and uh, TC, of course. And uh, Darius Brooks has done really well. Expect big things out of him this week and, and uh, the games to come. Uh, at the safety position, beat up a little bit, but we're starting to get some of them back. Keontae didn't play a lot last week. Uh, Beard's been doing a really nice job. Uh, also, uh, Vince. Uh, Vince has done really good playing the nickel for us, had an interception against Kentucky. So we got different guys contributing at different places. Defensively, you had to prepare differently every week, as you do with each opponent. Kentucky, you know, trying to stop the run and contain Newton in the pocket. Navy, you got to contain that triple option. This week, you have Navy. They have an experienced quarterback and have a fullback that can really pound the ball. How do you prepare for a more balanced attack? Well, you know, Indiana State, they're uh, they're kind of like our offense a little bit. They're going to try and run the football, establish the run again. If they can't, they can throw the football. Got some really good wide receivers that have transferred from Michigan State. Uh, the quarterback does a really nice job. Doesn't take a lot of sacks. Gets out of trouble, gets out of pressure, and throws really good balls. So it's going to be a task of getting pressure on him and try and rattle him a little bit so our coverage guys can uh, do what they have to do. The first thing you notice as a WKU fan, if you're watching the coaches on the sidelines, is you being very energetic with your players, chest bumping guys on big plays. You got a lot of that juice that Coach Taggart preaches about. Uh, how important is it as a coach to be able to relate to your players kind of on that energy level? Well, you know, they feed off the energy. Uh, of course, in practice, sometimes it's negative energy, you know, because I'm hard on them, but they know if they make a play that I'm going to be the first one there to celebrate, and uh, they know that. At times last week, we played with some energy. Other times, we didn't. We have to do a lot better this week 
and uh, we need that same performance we had against Kentucky. You have a lot of seniors on this team. Haven't won a home game here in Houchin Smith Stadium since September 20th, 2008. Have a good shot at doing that this weekend against Indiana State. What would it mean to your guys to get a win this weekend? Well, I think we just need a win no matter where we're at, no matter if we're at home or we're away. Uh, we're too good of a football team not to have a win. Uh, we did play against two really good opponents. You know, you play the SEC team and you play Navy who goes to bowl games every year. So we need to take care of business this week, but Indiana State's not a pushover. We're going to have to come out and win the game because they're not going to give it to us. All right, Coach. Well, I appreciate your time. Appreciate you. And good luck against Indiana State. Reporting for the Extra Point, I'm Jeremy Brown.